Welcome back to the evening show. Now, Chris Sanford has been showing me so many fabulous dishes throughout the last couple of months, and he invited me once again back into his kitchen this week. Take a look. Chris, today you have a beautiful piece of fish. What are you going to do with it? I have all of and fish is one of the most exciting things that they have in Ireland. Of course, it's an island, but surrounded with some great fish. I have a lovely piece of salmon here. And very simply, all I'm going to do is dry roast it really in the pan. Which sounds a bit, doesn't it? Mm, I wouldn't have ever thought of roasting fish. We're going to just roast this in the pan. We're going to let all those lovely flavours just absorb. The fish is going to absorb everything we have in the pan. And while that's doing that, we're going to make up a nice garnish to go with it. And we're going to serve it with uh, some nice mashed potatoes as well. But something very simple and very healthy because, of course, fish high in omega-3, which is really good for you. And... Children absolutely love fish if you do it in different ways that we have before, cut into goujons, flour, egg washing, breadcrumbs, that kind of thing, put it on a little pork and they can have it there, it's great, you know, so it looks like fish and chips done a wee bit different and healthy chips, that kind of thing. But this, for a healthier option, you can, you can poach it or steam it, but we're going to roast it. Okay, and this is going to be the garnish, so what's going into all of this? So, listen, for me... Mushroom? Yeah, I've got some lovely mushrooms here. I used to like some mushrooms. These are predominantly lovely uh, Paris brown mushrooms here and a couple of oyster ones there as well. They're lovely. Uh, chorizo sausage, mm -hmm. which is great. I, love, I just love the flavour in that. We never put chorizo with fish. Well, hey. Anything well, goes. Well, with this, I just think that these work really well. And I'm cooking for what I would like. So okay. hopefully you'll like it as well. Some garlic, one clove of garlic, just roughly chopped there. Some sun-dried tomatoes, just a nice bit of colour. We know about butter because we like we know about butter. Yeah. But you can use olive oil, you know, um, whatever you want, really. But for this, this is just going to be the garnish with it. And really, there's not really a sauce for this, but the flavour is intensified with dry roast in it. Fabulous. And the key to this is the fact that the fish and the garnish will take the same amount of time. Pretty much cooking the same time, yeah. Um, when I used to work in Canada, it was always, always amazing when I was first there. The, 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 the waiting staff would, would ask the customer, or would inform to ask the customer, how would you like your salmon cooked? Oh, okay. Because so, that's something you, you don't get asked in a restaurant. No, you won't no. hear. No, you have it medium rare or whatever you like. So we're going to cook this so it's a little bit pink. Um, and it, it might not be for everyone. But you know what? The thing about sea fish from the sea is it's absolutely... There's less bacteria that grows in, on fish from the sea. Okay. So that's why you find a lot of it in Japanese food. Oh. And that's why it has to be really fresh. So we're going to absolutely enjoy every wee morsel of this and cook it and seal every wee bit of flavour into it, Olive. Perfect. Well, let's get cooking. Okay, so Olive, just in that pan, a little bit of olive oil there. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's nice and hot. Yep. Presentation side down first. And you hear that lovely wee sizzle there. Watch oh, it contracting. Yeah, look. God. Now, Waistline. Wait, ah, listen. <laughs> absolutely. Um, Beautiful, isn't it? What we're doing is we're just sealing all that out there. We're going to get a lovely colour in that. But, you know, more importantly, we want to cook the salmon, so that's, that, of course, that's the key to you. You've got a fabulous wee spatula there. I'm going to, usually now, I would have my fingers in there, so it's not for everyone, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it onto its side so we get a lovely colour in that there. And you're sealing in We're sealing all, all that lovely flavour. So what we're doing, you can actually, if you look there, you can see the salmon cooking. Mm. You see how that's cooking there? It's, it's cooking there. So it almost continues to cook even though Absolutely. it hasn't touched the pan. Yeah, it's going to keep cooking like that there. And this is such a simple wee thing to do. But it's so nutritious and great for flavour. And, and you can see there's nothing too exciting going on there. No. It's cooking nice and gently. And if you were doing more than one fillet, would you just do one and then do the other one? So we're working this maybe for two people. So okay. you could do it quite comfortably on a pan this size. Feeling that, seal it just pop it into a little tray, pop it in your oven. Cook it for no more than six to eight minutes. Let it rest for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then you would serve it. Super. So I'm going to actually cook our garnish on us. But because it's going to cut, maybe squatter a little bit, I've got one of our favourite wee... The cartouche. The cartouche. The cartouche. Now, <laughs> we've made that into our, our wee circle there. All we're going to do is pop it like that. Now, I wouldn't use tin foil with this. You should always stay away from tin foil directly touching food because it gives it that metallic taste. And mm -hmm. we don't really want that. So this is literally just greaseproof paper? Greaseproof paper. Okay. You cut it into a circle. Into a circle, yeah. There's, there's a circle. There's a circle. I'm crumpling it up. it up. All I'm going to do with this is, you know when you get that and it coughs and what we call coughs and splutters everywhere. Mm -hmm. Simply do this, pop that on there, stop that happening. And keep you just it, leave it alone. Keep it on the inside of your pan. If it catches fire, don't panic. Take the pan and the piece of paper that's not fire. Take it to your sink and pop it in the sink. Okay. Simple so as that. Very simple. So that's cooking away there. Super. So Happy. This is the garnish. This is the garnish now. 
this pan has got really hot on me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cool it down a little bit. So there's going to be a lovely aroma of white wine. Mm. Wow, that's hot. So we're just going to resist that all the way down. And you see the beauty. Bubbling away. You see, the beauty of copper, it evenly distributes the heat so it draws it all right down. Mm. Fantastic. So look at that. Look, it's almost all gone. And that's going to intensify the flavour here for this. This isn't so much a sauce, it's more of a garnish all. So okay. Again, what we're focusing on is the flavour. And you can smell that. Big so you, you, sm you smell the fish oh, cooking away there. Fabulous, and the it? wine's reducing there. Look, it's gone. Yeah. So all I'm going to do. A little bit of butter. Because we like a little bit of butter. We little like a little bit of butter. And then, actually, why don't you pop in the mushrooms and the garlic? Mushrooms? And you could use any type of mushrooms. You're just. I'm, using I've got some lovely. Ones. Yeah, I've got some lovely mushrooms there that I have, but. Listen. Garlic. The garlic. Excellent. Now, pop in that chorizo sausage and watch what happens to this now. Now, don't, don't, that's it. Just put that there, just gently. Stir, stir, stir. Yeah. And then, remember, we won't add metal to metal. We'll use a little spatula. Okay. So, a little, lovely little spatula here. Perfect. There you are, there. And I'm going to boil this for a wee second. Checking our salmon. It's cooking away lovely there. It's quite a relaxed dish to prepare, really, isn't it's it? It's not the usual manic, is it? Yeah. No, it's not the usual manic. <laughs> Everything no. goes nice and slowly. And what's going to happen is, the thing about chorizo sauce is going to go that lovely flavour. Crispy. Just coming out there, and you see it will go a lovely colour as well. The smell of, of the there. garlic coming oh. through there is just beautiful. Fantastic. Let me just put that down a little bit there. How's that going there? Good. Looking now, we great. want to add the rest of our sun-dried, or we want to add our sun-dried tomatoes. And that just complements the actual cerezo as well. And could you use normal tomatoes, or do you like sun-dried? Absolutely, yeah. Pop that in there as well. Yeah, uh, well, again, it's just something that I think that complements the chorizo with the sun-dried tomatoes with us. So... So just down to what you like yourself. Yeah. Mmm. How is that there? How is that? good. Look? The chorizo's gone all crispy, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what we're trying to achieve with it. But, you know, it's just... What a great... Look doesn't it look great? Look it looks great. Ah. And it'll go so well with this lovely fish dish. So listen, salmon's cooked. How do I know the salmon's cooked? Because I just touch it there and it just bounces back to me. Back. It's absolutely ready to go. So listen, why don't we plate this up? Yum. So, Olive, we've taken our little garnish that we've pan fried and the aroma from that is first. Ah, it's first class, it really amazing, is. Amazing, really we've is. taken our salmon and we're just letting that just rest there. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing, I always give food a little minute just to rest and, and give it that wee chance. Because people worry that it's going to go cold, but it's not. It yeah. just needs a little second to chill out. That's it, just to relax and let all those flavours seep into you, what you have. And if you want to just pop it in your oven before you serve it, then great. Some we prepared earlier, <laughs> mashed potatoes with some peas and a little bit of vinegar. Oh. So it's like kind of fish and chips. Posh kind of an fish idea. and chips. Yeah, that wee bit of an idea going on. So all I'm going to do, look, is simply... Oh, would you look at that? But it doesn't have to be too fancy. Look, all we're going to do is pop that on there like that. Maybe I'll make it a little bit higher, make it a wee bit more chefy, will we? Chefy. Excellent. Now, for people at home, they could literally just get a scoop of potato and pop it on. They could. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the way I'll be serving it. <laughs> I'm going to take my salmon, look, and pop it just oh, like that wow. there. Simply like that there. And then, this little garnish that we have here. It looks lovely. Isn't it very earthy? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's I, think it's the, I think the mushrooms, the style of mushrooms really, ha really add to how it, how it looks in terms of its presentation. So it's I think a, it's nice to use those. It's a real earthy thing. And you know... Like we say, when it comes to butter and cream, there's not too much butter or cream in this at all. No. I think I've been very good. You've been very good today. <laughs> not too much cream made an appearance at all, no. which is great. And I think, for me, do you know what? See that and a cool, nice glass of chilled beer or something like that. Or a glass of white wine. Or a nice it. glass of white wine. May with, I with attack? What? Absolutely, but I think something like that. Nice sweet dish. Simple to do. It's almost like the tricolour, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. But you know, the chorizo sausage, a lot of people think, well, I wouldn't usually have that with fish or whatever, but it's something different. And I think those flavours just work very well together. Oh my God. That is like straight out of a restaurant. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. You have to try this at home. <laughs> Fabulous. Yes, the wonderful Chris Sanford there showing me a thing or two in the kitchen. And that beautiful recipe is available on our website, as is all the other recipes that he's shown me throughout the last couple of months. All you have to do is log on to www.city.ie and click on the Evening Show page, and it will be there for you to try out at home. Now, that's your lot for tonight. We will be back on Monday. Jimmy's here at 7. He repeats at 9. 
So until then, have a lovely weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.